Of course. There we uh, go. Here, there it, it is. is. Again. There she goes. Oh, Happy God. Easter. Happy Easter, everybody. Happy Easter. Easter. Hope you got some uh, some Happy eggs Sunday. with some candy. Hope you got a little chocolate bunny. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, absolutely. There you go. You okay? Uh, it's a so, leg of lamb, or what was the uh, chef cooking up my, today? Oh no! So today they just they had a simple. They just had some ham. Uh, they had, had some ham roasted well. chicken. Uh, nice. They had some scalloped potatoes. Tomorrow, tomorrow we're doing a crown roasted pork uh, with the bone. It's the, the you know it goes around and we yeah. stuff it, and then uh, and then again lamb chops and a leg of lamb. You did that recently, that crown roasted pork, right? They, they're that, like, well, the, oh, yeah. yeah. That picture that I sent you was from a couple <laughs> years ago. Oh, really? Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. But they, they asked for it again because I don't think they got that last year. So uh, they eat good, it. man. But the, the chef that does a lot of the cooking, he's good, man. So he hooks it up. They like his cooking. So nice. um, all right, man. But yeah, happy Sunday. Happy Easter. Here we are. You know, hopefully y'all got to see some family today and chill yes, and take it yes, easy yes, on a Sunday. Yes. Um, yes. So let's see. Let's start. We'll go uh, center of the night. We'll center. Oh the yeah, day. yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's go with Jared. Let's go with Jared today. We going with uh? Well, I have the actual bottle. Oh, look but at since the, the topic. This is the oh my god, Bergamo Womo signature chosen mm. by Nina herself, the lady. There you go. Very Beautiful nice. Set. Went to a family nice house one. for dinner. Her nice. one of her uh, one of her nephews said I smell like a barber shop. Okay. Really. I was like, well, that one this is that, you know yeah that one has a lot of lavender I think no well, those signatures picked, is Ferragamo this is the the coffee and the lavender yeah, yeah I think it has lavender though that's true yeah I don't know he it's was definitely mature yeah it's a mature yeah. scent he tried, for sure he was nice as he was trying to say you smell like an old man he was just trying to be nice <laughs> I was you like know? is it good and he said yeah so yeah like, it's all right, all right, cool. All right. Cool, cool cool cool, cool. <laughs> well, uh, what you got Mark what you rocking. Well, I haven't put anything on yet, but I was thinking of putting on the one tonight. One EVP. Oh. Let's see what the bottle. Oh, there you go. Uh, uh, yeah, not too bad. Okay. I got this big boy. Yeah. Uh, what's that? The five stuff. ounce? Yeah. Is that the, yeah, the 200 ml? That's all, yeah, I got I to gotta work through some of this. What so. the fuck? Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. She's playing, uh, baby. She's playing Crash Bandicoot. I thought she was like, nice, nice. <laughs> She's like 200 mils. What the fuck? <laughs> no, she's How much more? <laughs> wow, that's hilarious. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's... I don't understand. So what? The, I, I rocked uh, uh, the to me. I had a decan of to me awaken. How is yeah. that? It's it's nice. I you know, Fragrantica says everything smells like YSO, YEDP, or EDT. But of course, but it it it, it, it kind of has that aldehydic citrus fresh. Doesn't have apple or anything like that. Um, I think it has fur balsam and um, nice something else. So it, it's nice. It was good. It lasted like all day on me. You know, I was I smelt it pretty much the whole day, and then tonight I sprayed on some. I got this decant from um, what's his name? L L Seeky L Seekly in the group. Oh, L yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, this is a uh, Vince Camuto Ohm. So I had him on this, and I how is that? Try. It's nice. It got like a like a fizzy gin and tonic, uh, <laughs> fizzy gin and tonic smell. Uh, fresh, you know, masculine, simple, little spicy. It's nice. It's nice, man. It's <laughs> she keeps one. losing. She hey, starts listen, the game. Man, them, them old school games, yo. I I remember being a kid, and when I couldn't beat a board, I would throw the controller across yep. the room. It would of get course, you that dude. upset. So I got I got I feel her pain. Yeah, That's why I stopped playing. You know, I just play sports games now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, man, it's all right, cool. So everybody send it up. Uh, you know, uh -huh. topic. I guess we'll go. What do you want to go? You want to go right into the topic real quick? I was gonna say, you know, the reason that I had this decant out is uh I mean you can see underneath me how useful are decants, right? So that being the topic, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I do have a bottle of this sprayed it on before i left but if you mm -hmm. want to freshen up before you you know you always like to freshen up before you go into somewhere you have oh, a yeah. decan you know yeah. so i just fit you know just the perfect chef can the, the opening i carry of this that, one with me exactly yeah, the opening of that both of the ferragamos and the womo series are phenomenal and you should definitely always have a decan with you when you're going yeah. out with that one absolutely see mark you know, knows the yeah. thing with decans too is like a lot of people complain about performance but if you keep a little bit, even if it's three mLs, is usually what I do. 
I mean, mm-hmm. obviously, I have more empty atomizers than most people on hand. Yeah. But, you know, usually whatever my scent of the day is, I usually decant it in the morning, you know. And, yeah. I, and I do this the old school. I just unscrew it and spray in there, and, I, and yeah. it works fine, you know. It that, doesn't... I get the little funnels for that. You know, which yeah, we'll that's a good, that's a good, another a point. A lot of people say, how do I do it? You know, do I got to get the syringes and what, whatnot, you know? Yeah. That was one of the first YouTube videos I made, but like I explained mm-hmm. it, like, you know, just, you could just spray it on in there. And then now, the who, funnels who that you could get. did the videos? The, the, there was a guy that did Oh, Slow Train Cosense. Yeah. Slow Train yeah, Cosense. He did, he did a great ones. job yeah, on how yeah. to do the more difficult bottles. But yeah, um, check those out. And the, his are great yeah and the, like i was saying the funnels are uh they're, you can get them on amazon and it helps you when you're spraying in so it doesn't go everywhere they're cheap too exactly you get a bunch of them and you use one for each you know you can write it on it i'm sure yeah. like you do with the syringes you know you write on it only for this fragrance yeah see well the thing with the syringes like i buy them at 100 100 at a time oh yeah and i just i use them once and then i toss it unless like i'm decamping the same fragrance like if some people order like a 10 or five and a three or something, then I'll just use the same one. But yeah. I only use, and I only really use syringes on like large decats. So you like see, 10, 10 mLs, 15s. Really? Yeah. Oh, every, you see 15? Everything else, I pretty smell. Oh, yeah, there you go. There's an old school 15. Yeah, exactly. I want to Everything just... else, I, I pretty much. <laughs> you get tired after 10 mLs of straight decanting. You're yeah. right. I bet. I bet. get tired, man. And if see, you're trying got, to do multiple ones, if you, I got that 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 trigger finger. See, like, is that the Ferrari? Oh man, yeah, look at that. Jeez. The Ferrari, I don't like doing the, the. I don't like those atomizers. Yeah, but if you do like, um, so yeah, you see how I, I see how you're doing it there. Yep, three mLs. Boom. Yeah, see what I good. mean? That's pretty good. Now, and now, it, a lot of times with with these atomizers, they're kind of pressurized on the top. So if yes. you just lightly press, they'll just bloop, bloop. Right. And that'll that's get what you I, over the tip. That's true. That's one of the early. Uh, and also just like, I found like when you lightly press the atomizer and it kind of gets a stream, I feel mm-hmm. like you're getting less of that like blast back and the vapor. And right. You're losing less of the people to say you're losing the top yes. notes. I think you, lose, you, I think you probably... Small. Yeah, but what you're losing, it isn't specific. You're losing the entire fragrance when you're losing because it's big fat drops bouncing all over the place. Yeah, you go, you're yeah, going yeah. to lose it in the glass anyway, right? Because you're going from the bottle where it's been stored into this. Right. So you're going to lose a little bit in this anyway. And then, you know, I usually just hit it with the tape, bang, bang. <clears throat> yep. The Teflon tape, it's always good to wrap it around yeah. the threads. Not yeah. a lot, just a little bit. Do it around the threads. I'm and so then what... what there you go. Perfect. See, a lot of people, I think, don't understand that concept, and that's good. Then you screw it on tight, and it forms Perfect. some of course, sort of seal, You know right? how many damn d dance I've done in my life? <laughs> how, it's like a seal. It, for, it forms like a seal, right, so that it yeah. doesn't leak? Is that the whole idea? Yeah, that's pretty much it, you know, and then mm-hmm. there you go. And then you could put, mm-hmm. like, something like uh, you could do, like, the, the electrical tape around it yeah so, uh, some people just put the yeah some people do that or some people would just teflon tape it again um, yeah either way there's, there's yeah. all kind of different this options a different decant this yeah the, the most recent stuff i got from you mo i think you had a few that you taped on the outside you're using yeah, that reason, blue teflon tape yeah yeah so i see reason, i have one with the blue too yeah this this blue stuff is, is good this is the one i use it has this little monster on it i get it from amazon <laughs> Nice. It's like I, it's like uh, uh like bucks, my, but it's worth it. <laughs> but it's worth it. Nah, this stuff, this stuff is good. It's 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 not super thick, but it, it's pliable and it and it's and it sticks real good. And it, you know, I don't get I don't get a lot of leaks once in a while, but for the most part, no. The reason I Teflon taped the ones that I sent you was because they were partial. So sometimes right. when it's not yeah. full, I'll I'll add a little bit because just in case when it's sloshing around. Um, one of the things about packing too that I've noticed since I started using those bags with the stuff's like you know packed together, it doesn't like move around too yes, much, yes, and that yes. helps with like breaking and leaking yes. and things yeah, like that. So yeah, that's something yeah. to keep in mind too. Because yeah. the the OG chef cans was definitely using tape to create that same effect. I was know? bugging. I was I was going through so much <laughs> tape, bro. I bet. 
I feel yeah. like at a certain point you're like, if if I wasn't spending so much on tape, this wouldn't be. I'd be making more money, you know. Well, my thing was like, there's got to be a better way, right? Especially when you're doing like a lot. Like people would hit you up with orders for like 33 mls or something. I'm like, yo, there's got to be a better way to like pack these besides yeah. taking three and then folding right. them and put and, and uh <laughs> i will fold them and i i don't think i think when i started sending it to you i was already doing the back thing you had a very nice presentation even back then yeah but, but what i was, was doing nah but what i would do was cut bubble wrap and then wrap or like four of them and then tape yeah. the hell out of them yeah. no i had I a bag doing. i think i think nah, I, had I was doing bag. bags already with you yeah and i remember like some of the first packs i thought that i was just gonna i just i just pictured myself going in it being like and just kind of <laughs> going, flying everywhere yeah 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 the thing but with that never bags, happened store like that what's that the thing with the bags you could keep them like that too like you right. could put them in your drawer you could leave them yeah the, i actually do, do that like yeah. it's like i do it's like they the ones that i haven't I'll do like um these are the ones I'm gonna test for whenever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here's some advertising for you. There you go. There you go. The oh, look at that. Look at those stickers. Homemade. <laughs> yeah. He can't stop telling you. There you go. I always thought if you had a, bottom um, bottom right. Those bags, I start using them um, like to wrap bottles, like put a bottle in if you're gonna mm -hmm. ship a bottle. Nice. I've never known that. They like, sell big ones. Yeah. I have the small ones that I put a couple of decant in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I just been mark. accumulating a lot of bags like that from, so I try and yeah. use that stuff. I think that's one thing that that's I, something know, to I keep found in mind. as a decanter is like, mm -hmm. I had to, I held on to a lot of stuff and I had to organize it or else things got crazy. And yeah. um, I got to reuse some stuff. You yeah. know? What are those uh, called? Those are called Mylar, Mylar food bags. And yeah, something like that. You get them on Amazon. That's really where cheap. I get them. Yeah, they're cheap. cheap. Yeah. Another thing to reuse is these stupid circulars you get in the mail for like oh, you know yeah. packaging. Like People use even with those, decants, yeah. I'll uh, even with decants in, in a padded envelope, I'll just put this around it now, just mm -hmm. have more packaging. I yeah. get a ton of this shit. So it's just mm -hmm. like instead of throwing it out, just reuse it. Now good don't, good padded envelopes are important too. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's I, true. I like the principle too with the padded envelope of that it, it does keep the decants kind of straight up up and down exactly. so yeah you always send like i use like the four by six ones i can fit most of the things i'm sending out in those yeah i think yes. i use six by tens yeah like, same have, thing yeah mm -hmm. but yeah it, 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 it gives you that like a good envelope you just gotta you gotta it's worth spending a little bit because those really thin ones that's how stuff breaks and that's happened to me before you know what yeah. i mean like especially when it's a thinner glass <laughs> They'll, they'll yeah. crack, mm -hmm. you know? Now, I have a question for you. Sure. Now, say, because because we do a lot of decant trading, decant swapping, and decant swaps, Kanye has, obviously. Sure. So, like, what if you have, like, a decant that you got from somebody else, and it's kind of, like, leaky, faulty? Would mm -hmm. it be better to take it... Would, would it be better to take it apart and to mm -hmm. redo the tape or, you know, redo the... Or redecant? What do you think you should do? Like, if you're going to trade one out and you're afraid it's going to leak and it's somebody yeah. else's decant that they did their own stuff with, what, what do yeah, you think? Um, you I mean, that, that that that's always an option to, to redo it if you have an atomizer or just reseal it, Um, especially if it's a bigger one. I think smaller decants, I mean, you know, if you want to go through it for one or two mils... I mean, you can, right, but, right. you know, for such a small amount, you know, you, it might not be worth the hassle because a lot of times with decants that small, you're just really trying to smell it. You mm -hmm. know, you might spray it on yourself and maybe wear yeah. it once or something, but the, the the main idea for really small decants like that is just to, to smell it like if you were at the store or something like that. For now, sure. a bigger decant, like 10 mils or even five, maybe 15, yeah, I'd probably just re rebottle it or re you know seal it or something like that um mm -hmm. another thing too that i that i've started doing <clears throat> a little while back was uh was actually spraying them and priming them like some guys don't like to do that but what i will say is that when you buy atomizers in bulk there's a chance that maybe one or two are not gonna are not gonna work so then you have people hit you back like yo i had a, another atomizer but the one you sent me didn't work and then it's like, oh, damn, okay, thanks for letting me know. So just to kind of avoid that whole hassle, 
I just I just spray them once or twice and you know like you don't really idea. lose a lot you don't really lose a lot of juice that way mm -hmm. and it's just ready to go when people get them so um that's definitely something I've started doing yeah. I've had that happen sure. to me before yeah. Yeah, sometimes uh, I, it happened to me today. I was decanting today, and and one of them just didn't spray, and I was like, "Oh, there you go." Had to throw it out and put a yeah. top on it. Well, I had the guy contact me and be like, "Yeah, so one didn't spray," and I'm like, "Well, that kind of sucks." Yeah, but... sorry, bro. <laughs> like Splash it, it happens. And yeah. you know what? I hit him up with like an extra sprayer on the next one, which is fine. Mm -hmm. But like, yeah, yeah, it was kind of like, "What am I going to spend another five dollars to mail him a sprayer or?" To mail them an empty, oh. yeah, the, yeah, you know, an empty atomizer or whatever. Yeah, nah, it's not worth it. You get them very cheap. Yeah, and I, and look, I think if you're somebody that's into decants or you're buying a lot of decants, it's probably not a bad idea to keep empty ones on hand. You exactly. Know I mean? It's always good them. to have. Just have them for your own stuff, mm -hmm. um, for whatever reason. Um, If you're in this group, obviously you're going to want to have, you know, yeah. empty ones gonna decan yeah. your own collection you know what i mean that's kind of just, just you're gonna sense. you're gonna someone's gonna post something you're gonna be like oh i gotta get it and then you're gonna be like oh do you, do you mind waiting a week because i gotta yeah. work I, gotta work. Again. I know yeah, i think i think i did something like that recently i was like we yeah, can trade we but like in a week <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 and look when you're swapping i mean time is not a big issue but yeah definitely nah. if you keep them on hand man it, it doesn't hurt you know now like i said mm -hmm. me i always gotta have some you know, I just ordered more. You know, I'm I order like weekly. Yeah, really. I have some. Yeah, I always keep keep some in on in, in, in you know in the house. So I've been trying. I want to try and reduce myself to like one size so that mm. I can keep a larger stock in. Yeah, that makes mm -hmm. sense. And I kind of figure that like for the most part, you know, right now I just want to be sending people stuff to try. So yeah. like mm -hmm. three mils feels like. The right that's a size. good hey, that's a good what size. I have exactly yeah, yeah that's a great that's good i think that's a perfect enough for size. wearing mm -hmm. yeah you could get one wear or two out of it um and then you could get a test spray to smell it mm -hmm. like exactly it. that's a perfect amount because you figure those carded samples you get from like macy's or whatever those are about a mil and a half mm -hmm. right? right maybe two so a three mil is probably about two of those which is which is plenty exactly it's enough you know like yeah. if if you spray in like a, a mill a day which isn't unusual like so if you get three mills that's at least two solid wearings mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. exactly and you can that's actually your, wear it throughout me, that's the one day, day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'll, I'll go through a three mil that's usually what you, i'll take yeah. like i'll you spray myself them. and sure. right i spray myself and then i take <clears> the three mil with me some days five if you know is one that don't last Right, you know? right, right, right. But the last couple times I took five, I had I brought some back home, so I was like, ah, I'll go back to three. But you can um, you can spray you can afford to just spray the juice. You can just spray it so in there, juice. just, just whatever stupid. you know. It's stupid, but you know when I decant too, I just spray it and right, yeah, right remind right. myself of what something smells like. Um, yeah. So, but yeah, definitely keeping keeping um them on hand is good. Now, um. I, there was something else we wanted to bring up. Go ahead, Jared. What were you going to say? I was going to say that uh, decants are also a good way to get your hands on, like, discontinued stuff. Yes. Like, stuff that you can't find, and it's more, like, this is a replica fun fair evening. They don't make it anymore. Mm -hmm. I searched, and I found a decant. So now I can have this fragrance that doesn't exist anymore. And, you know, I don't use it too much, but I have it. You know, it's yeah, a good way. And, yeah. like, uh, what was I showing before? The low medial. I, I don't know where I put it. Which but, one? Uh, the, I had the low medial extreme. Yeah, yeah, that was so oh, hard to find, dude. Oh, here it is. Yeah, exactly. So that. now, so now I have some of it. You know, yeah, it's yeah. good. You know, I can't afford a hundred, whatever dollars, nah, hundred fifty dollars for, for like these, 150, but I have one thirty. Yeah, I know exactly. So if you want it's something like uh, like Gucci two mm -hmm. or like Gucci pour on. I mean, those bottles are like what two, three hundred dollars right now. So but if you want to have it, yeah. decant in it, you know, you get you a little and you keep it in the stash for when you want to pop it out. Exactly. Something special and you don't have to go crazy with that. Because we're know all scent I mean? collectors, you know, we want to have our, yeah. have all these, it's more of just having the library of scents pretty much. Sure, absolutely. Yeah. And decants I, are great for that, you know. Exactly. You know, it's just bottles get expensive. Yeah. I don't, I don't like decanting really old stuff. I'll really? be honest, I like, had mm -hmm. 
I've had some old and some more rare stuff and like I was like I could probably make more money off of selling it by decanning it but yeah I don't know it just didn't feel like the right way to do it and I, I understand felt like, yeah like I don't know like if I did do stuff like that it would probably be more like oh I'm gonna just decant out a mill and here's a mill and like just dump it all over yourself someday and mm-hmm. enjoy it one time and see mm-hmm. what it's like but yeah you know don't sit on this like decan of like an old bottle or pure coffee or something like that forever because you know it's not going to be like it it's not going to age like it does in the in the bottle exactly very true yeah evaporation is quicker with the decans decans, yeah that's why i think decans are better like suited though for something you're gonna maybe test oh yeah right away or not keep like mark said don't keep it around too long because it it will evaporate and then you will see the level go down a little bit um it's not in the original bottle so you know there's definitely a lose a little bit there too so I mean, I will, I will say that, like, uh, sorry, Mark, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, I, I will say that, like, many, many fragrances I've bought are because I've had a decant first and I tried it. Not just the sample, but I've had a decant. I've worn it. I've worn mm-hmm. a couple times, like 5 ml, 10 ml. And I was like, I need this. I need to get it. Yeah. I think no, that's, that's the most important. Too. Because blind buying is, like, exciting in itself. But, like, you get disappointed, like, bro. 75. Yeah, it's expensive. And you get disappointed, like, yeah. 75% of the time. Yep. And then sometimes, and you're like, shit, I got this stupid fragrance that I don't like that everybody else said was good. So get a decant, try it. Mm-hmm. Better to fall in love with stuff that way, too. Like, you're like, oh my God, I love this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're famous for that. I know. It's that's what I'll like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, I'll that's smell it. I'll be like, I need it. That's a tough thing, too, about a decant because, like, yeah, maybe you end up getting more decants than you really need. And, <laughs> And then you end mm-hmm. up smelling more stuff than you really need. And even if it's only 25% of that stuff you're going to buy, you're still going to buy it. So, <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> no, it's true. It's true. And, and you know, decants can add up just like bottles, you That's know? So many. Um, yeah. Yeah. I got a pack for you. I'm sending out tomorrow. <laughs> nice. And, so, and organizing yeah. your decants too. Like, it's impossible. Well, I like I like your method. I like what you've been doing, Mark, with the um with tube holders and stuff like that. Yeah, Mark's yeah, got these, it down, these, dude. These come in nice and handy for keeping stuff organized. That's so sick. Look at that. Oh, Versace Blue <laughs> the name. I just those are failed labels. Are those all Versace Blue Jeans? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, he, he's got thirty of them ready to go. Whatever. Ready to go, baby. That's there the only go. one. He, uh-huh uh-huh I, this uh, was my viral the whole marketing bottle. campaign <laughs> uh but, but i yeah, actually want to talk about versace blue jeans so okay okay all right i didn't put it in there but i just i've been fascinated with this stronger stronger with you lately and you always make like, that comparison i don't get uh, that i have to smell either. blue jeans again i don't pick up stronger I with you no yeah it's i mean i smelled blue jeans again recently and i'll say like yeah it's kind of a stretch of the imagination i don't know if it's like maybe i don't know what the notes are off the top of my head but it almost feels like this clash of like white floral and yellow floral that like mm-hmm. yeah kind of um feels like it's edgy you know and like with stronger with you it feels like the comparison for the two like they sit on the two opposite sides of do i like it or not like stronger Mm -hmm. with you is like takes it up too much for me and versace blue jeans is just it's just smoother i know it's probably sweeter and i actually got into a discussion with somebody the other day about sweet fragrances too I think um I think Stronger with you has some sort of aromatics in it, maybe like rosemary or something that yeah, you I'm sure it has lavender. There. It yeah. shares lavender. Some, it does share some notes with blue jeans. So I guess I can kind of see it, but I don't I've only smelled blue jeans a little bit. I need one of your 30 D cans. Mm-hmm. <laughs> see the thing with men's fragrances now though, they all have similar notes, right? There's always some citrus in the top. Sure. And then it'll be something aromatic in the mid. And then, sure. you know, your base will be like your woods and your vanilla and stuff like that. You know, if you look at Strong With You, that's pretty much the makeup. It have that chestnut in there that gives it a little bit of sure, different sure, note. Sure. And it has like that toffee feel to it, which makes it kind of 
sweet. Sure. <clears throat> but yeah, I, I mean, I, even like men's fragrances, I feel like are leaning more on the sweet side now, just because I think that because of that, they could kind of appeal to both sexes a little bit. Mm. Um, it's, it's a trend I see a little bit, like Damn unisex it. perfumery. <laughs> she, she, <laughs> sucks, yeah, yeah, she knows what's but, up. Um, you know, uh, I got to give Versace Blue Jeans another shot. Is that your uh, recommendation, Mark? You're, you're, I, you're I say, I'm gonna, yeah, I was gonna try and send you some because I've got a bottle that I'm decanting out of, and I have, yeah. I have a decant. You send me of that. Actually, I have to look for it. Yeah. I know I still have it. I got it. Yeah. I'm gonna get Mo some trays. Like that's really my goal right now. <laughs> man, oh, I, mean, I got I, so many decants, dude. It's silly. See, oh, uh, yeah, that's why it's be crazy to organize them and be like, yeah, it's interesting. Mean, Go ahead, Mark. I'm sorry. To I was just going to say, like, it gets to be like a vault, man. Like, For you sure. can have, like, okay, you can be, like, you could have 100, 200 bottles, whatever. You could be a YouTube reviewer and have a mm-hmm. thousand bottles. But, like, yeah, I mean, who knows? You probably have, like, 2,000 decants easy or something, you know? Uh, I got a few hundred at least, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All yeah. Lot. Sizes. yeah. You basically double what's already an immense collection with your decants. And it's like, uh. you got to. And and when you go, I mean, a lot of, a lot of YouTubers talk about the fragrance journey and stuff, right? And so, what is mm. that fragrance journey? And mm. I guess, how do you document it? Some people do it on YouTube like this, but mm-hmm. for sure, you know, for sure. For me, it's like I don't know. I got like this box of stuff that I'll go through, and I'll be like, "Yeah, remember when Mo sent me this one? Remember when Jared mm-hmm. sent me? He wanted me to yeah, smell this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her house that smells like cat piss lip actually has <laughs> cat piss in it. That's yeah, I don't yeah. That's smell a future it, episode, but, man. But I got, at some I got point, my, I will. I have a decant. I have a decant in for Mo too. I have a little bit in there. It's, it's Gosh, a, I'm you scared. You spray it, and it, it's just it's offensive, uh, but it's all, yeah. it's almost good. It's offensive, but almost good. Okay, sounds yeah. excellent. Sounds right <laughs> up my alley, man. Some of my favorite fragrances. Yeah, right. Uh, what about like so decants being useful for like I know you mentioned YouTube and documenting your journey. Like Jarvis, since you got a channel, do you find that they help you with content? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, right, and because I I can't afford to be buying every new release. Like a lot mm-hmm. of these YouTubers, they can. I can't. Yeah. And so having a decan of it, I can still smell it and I can still review it and I can still Absolutely. talk about it because it's the same exact fragrance. Yeah. So I can stay up to date. You know, mm-hmm. like like one of my highest uh, watched videos is my review of Burberry Hero because i got a sample just a small sample of it mm-hmm. before you know before everybody knew about it yeah so i reviewed it before everybody knew about it off a sample and it you know it was good so it does help me with content 100 percent. and you yeah, had to I'm get the- that out because burberry was sponsoring you for that review right so oh, i wish they were man, man. He had the if it gets big enough on deck, i'll link that i'll link that video you can put it like in the in the corner or something over there i'll link yeah, it here. yeah yeah but Let's no, we... but I think I see I see that too. A lot of a lot of guys are doing that is getting a decant from somewhere and using it. You know, I see Scott doing it. I've seen Ross doing it lately, you know, and I think it's like you said yeah. where when you get well also I feel like when you get to a point of so many bottles and stuff just keeps coming out and coming out and coming out. Like how more. many new bottles are you gonna keep buying? You know what I mean? Like how long are you gonna keep up that buying trend? Eventually it has to slow down, right? I mean, if you're at a thousand bottles already and you're just gonna keep getting more and more and more, like what are you gonna have? Like two thousand? How much and are you gonna even wear, man? Th- think of physical space. You these things take up space physically. Yes. So where the yes. fuck are you gonna put? I gotta all? buy like another shelf. I'm looking into buying more shelves uh, because I got I know I got, you know, and if what with if, Lou about shelving, you bro. Know, look at you like, saw, yeah, like you saw those. He was like, "Yo, I'm trying to get a kitchen pantry to put all my perfume." I'm like, <laughs> that's crazy. I mean, it'll look, it'll look amazing. But also made sense. Yeah, sure, no, sure. yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and it will look awesome. But then it's like, wow, when you open that to look at what you're gonna pick for your scent of the day, it's kind of like, yeah, it's overwhelming. Whoa overkill yeah, yeah absolutely yeah to what you're saying about the youtubers though i i i, I couldn't even imagine any sort of logical justification for why a youtuber shouldn't use a decant yeah you know 
I mean, I if anything, like, okay, like YouTubers aren't going to be decanning themselves. Mm -mm. And so they just get a decant from reliable sources and plug, plug your decanter, whatever. Like, yeah, you know? yeah, they do. And they do a lot of them. I see they do. I mean, like I said, Scott Banks yeah. is somebody yeah. that he supported me since, you know, I remember him, you know, working with me when he had like 200 subs and now he's at like almost 2000. And he's somebody that always has his mic website on his page when he does videos and stuff like that so it's a relationship that works both ways and you know i've been i've been i do that too like i reached out to jared you know mm -hmm. a while back did. Um, that's how we met yeah, yeah. that's how and, this all um, happened dude and then i you know there's another guy that i saw in the cheapy group he has like 160 subs i forget his name it's intriguing the dude that it's i think yeah, it's I sent, and there was another guy from uh, another guy I think he's okay. in texas um Gosh, something for greatness. I I I feel bad. I forgot his name. I got his name is Maurice. These guys, we'll and I, I put links for these people. And yeah, stuff, and I yeah. and I reached out to him too, and he was like doing rack store videos, and you know he was doing Sweet, you know man. reviews on stuff, and and I was like, yo, give me your address. I'll send you a pack, and you know if anything you like that you could review for your channel, just do it. You know. Yeah. Um, because I just did it with the new uh, Aqua de Joe. Or look, Park man, Park. even if your just channel is small. There's going to be people that you have subbed or that you can reach out to that even the bigger guys don't are not able to because maybe those yep. people don't sub to them. Mm -hmm. So it's always a group. There's always people that, you know, you can you can reach that other people or not. And, you know, for the smaller channels, man, I don't mind helping out and you know, reaching awesome. out to those guys, you know, more so than because the big guys have access. You know, they they can get stuff from even direct from the perfume houses you know what i mean sure. like yeah would it be cool to send some of them some stuff cool but they they, they don't need a guy like me it's more so like the community and the and the, and the you know the, the the little guy that i would rather you know help out if i can you know what i'm saying we all just want to smell good at the end of the day that's it bro and it's good to learn about stuff and you know like when we, when we had that meeting with tony last week and he mentioned you know just the knowledge and the learning Mm -hmm. and, the, and, the, and the best way is to yeah. smell stuff bro yeah for sure i like i liked his academic approach i i thought about that afterwards i was like mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. that's cool i haven't really felt like i ever like sat down and studied it but i want to you know yeah. like i i haven't even had that time to put into the depth of it right now i'm just going crazy with it but but you definitely have studied though think about going on right. fragrantica but how many of those middle eastern frags have you gone on fragrantica or other websites read about what they're supposed to smell like mm. read about what's in them um you know this is supposed to be a clone of this that's that's studying bro I mean, that's, that's a, yeah academic. that's how you learn man yeah. yeah but the the hardest thing is when there isn't anything you know when Mark really all that. you get is the bottle and it's like mark loves that when the, if, mm -hmm. if there's no info on the internet about the fragrance mark's like yes yes nobody but you knows have this no in the world idea. that's good though yep every time i read the fragrantica interview or review and i i get the bottle based on the reminds me of or the yeah the yeah yeah the accords it, a lot of times it's I don't know if it's different <clears throat> than that because that's all my mind sees when I think about the perfumes. So, that makes sense. Yeah. You know, that's in cool, some ways it, it locks your mind into it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's yeah. true. You, you know, you have preconceived notions. So, yeah. 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 Well, see, I think that's where your knowledge comes in handy because if you see, you see it say smells like this and, and you could still, you could say, okay, I see why they say it might smell this way, but it's different right. though right. you know what i mean and i think that that's where the, you know you haven't smelled stuff kind of comes in handy a little bit yeah you know mm -hmm. that th i think that that's a very good point and how you like it takes a little bit to learn notes and stuff but then once you go look at the note period pyramid and be like hmm because you you, you stop looking at the reviews and you start looking at the notes instead. Yeah, I the look reviews at that will sway you. And then the notes, like yeah. I like with that the fragrance I was talking about before, the Lefou, Lefou, yeah. by yeah. uh, Lefou, Lefou Le by Fou. Dolce and Gabbana. I found this randomly on a uh, fragrance, actually, $25 for a tester. And it's like $60, $70 regularly. And I looked up the notes and they're like coriander, cognac, juniper berries. Uh, what the hell else is in this? 
Uh, actually, I have them up right now. I use Parfumo, Parfumo now. Parfumo, okay. Yeah. Co- uh, bergamot, coriander, violet, cognac, cardamom, juniper, fern, woods, ginger, and tonka bean. So mm. I was like, that sounds so interesting. Like, fern. Yeah, I like the cognac I, in there. Yeah, the cognac. I love violet. So, And this is like, so I read the reviews. People are like all over the place. So I was like, you know what? Let me just try it. And it mm. smells amazing. I there love it. So there instead of looking at the reviews, you know, you study, you learn, it's fun. And mm-hmm. then you look at a no pyramid, you're like, hmm, I think I might like that. See, that's you know? the first thing I look at. I look at the mm-hmm. notes first. I don't look at what nobody says exactly. about it. I don't look at what it smells like. I, I might look at what it smells like after. And the only reason yeah. I do that is because if it's like really expensive, I, I, I try to look if there's an alternative or something in that space that might cost a little less. Right. Yes. That's the I, only reason. And, and I and, think and, um, mm-hmm. but the notes are the only the first thing I look at. And I think um I think for me, not even just for making a channel and doing reviews, but like the cool thing about uh, I kind of I kind of can understand where Mark's coming from with not knowing much about it. Mm-hmm. Like that's kind of cool. Like you find something you you might get the notes, you might see a review or two, but you don't really know. Mm-hmm. And like I was, I think I might have been the first person to review Alhambra's amber and leather on on youtube i'm pretty mm-hmm. sure because mm-hmm. i couldn't find a review anyway right. and although that's you know you can figure out and you said ombre and you said ombre leather and everyone else did but it's actually this obscure fragrance from yeah, you know, exactly. 2002 i don't know you know who knows yeah, so I mean, you know once yeah. you go in thinking ombre leather you're gonna just smell ombre leather and mm-hmm. i think that's maybe that's how things are maybe they, it's the that's a fad or maybe we're missing that's something. true I don't yeah. want I don't want people I don't want to sway people's opinions as being but I don't consider myself like a re- reviewer I just like to talk about fragrances I like so sure. if your taste aligns with mine then you'll be like oh I'll probably like that like well, you guys that. like you guys know you you guys know my taste you know you would like this it smells sure. like an early 2000s fr- fragrance mm-hmm. I know you both like it the closest thing I could think of is like Dolce & but uh, that's what it smells like oh yeah you know like the citrus woody thing but with like mm-hmm. powdery and green yeah. it's really you got to try it yeah don't think well, gabana for home is a, a tough one for me i didn't even realize yeah. this is also a dolce and gabana i didn't even realize yeah. i just traded steve white for some of that for some of that dolce That's, you, I, I, just, I, I didn't have i had a bottle a long time ago and i yeah. sold it and it's, i was like yo good. send me some of that you know what i mean because i haven't smelled it in so long um, you don't but, like that mark I have a little five mil. That I'm like, I like, like it. it's a kind of thing I'll never get rid of because I always want to go back to it and be like, yep, I still don't like it. You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> is it I like mean, the, the, is it like the sweet and the citrus thing that you, like, think, like we talked about Nico sculpture, like that sweet citrus, right? I mean, it's, another one of it vanilla. some of that, but like lavender, I think, like, uh-huh. I think there's, Frags that like I can I just can't do the lavender in them and then there I understand some that. that I like the lavender a lot and it's mm. it's very divisive no for me I agree a hundred percent on that lavender so. can be very much or very good you know, I think that goes with a lot of fragrances too like yeah. certain notes are just too much you yeah. know but it's like you were saying with, with with swaying people's opinion so I picked this up right this that's the new the, John Barbados this is, right. teal. this is the teal joint. Right. Now, what when I like? when yeah, I first like... smelled it, I you know I got that aqua, aquatic you know a little bit of salts, rosemary, you know I picked up the notes that were in the description, and then everybody said why EDT, why EDP, and then when I of went course. back, I was like I was like damn it kind of okay I was like yeah I I, I kind of see that you know what I mean, and so so it, 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 now when I smell that I have that in my mind you know what I mean um another one i was decanting today was f black and i just remembered you saying baby wipes and now when i spicy smell baby fucking wipes. F black spicy I smell baby, baby wipes. wipes and i'm like damn me, jared now i smell baby wipes when i smell f black you know i still you know i still get the vibe of the fragrance but you know now that it's disgusting i would never recommend it to anybody really i get i get no, like I nobody i hate it crazy I it's like just like stuff. it's so strong you spray it on it's so just strong. Like, Very it strong. doesn't stop it's projecting loud. that's it's what loud. you want that's great but it's yeah just if you want to get loud. noticed like that it definitely will do that it's definitely loud as hell yeah I, I i fall on the thing that f black is a good if not great fragrance i know i know you like it and i like uh, it too i, I, I get a real do. like big makeup vibe from it like uh, 
it, it, it's like Ugh. I feel like it does the same thing that DRM does in a completely different way. Mm-hmm. And I yeah, if someone says pickles or someone says like yeah, butter popcorn, up. like weird stuff like that for a fragrance, <laughs> I always try and tune that out because it's like. Yeah, like Chloe was saying, yeah, spicy baby wipes. Don't think that while you're smelling yeah, no. black. And I thought that it. after, you know, that's what I thought of after because I read the trick reviews. You. I read the reviews and it said it smelled like La Nuit de Lom, and I had never smelled that. I yeah, like, well, I, don't, I don't know. Yeah. I, was yeah. like, I, I don't find know. that so very I smelled hard it. to connect. I, I had no, no preconceived notions, so I sprayed it. I was like, what? What the fuck is this? I'm like, people are yeah. saying this is great. I'm sorry. I don't like that, but it's a highly recommended cheapie. So mm-hmm. I just, but that's once again, come full circle. You can hit up Chef Cans and get a well, little decant to that. Man, yeah, somebody like, asked, somebody waste ordered. Of $20, you know, $20 you, is $20. And you that's don't on the need list. more than 10 mil. He's got it. Yeah. Black that's on the ever. list I have, right? So I have no, you don't. To have like the mid tier list where it's like, yeah, three, three, you could get three, three mls for seven bucks, which is the best. So, so you try it. he tried three for seven, so he got three and it was seven bucks, and that was one of them on his three. And it was like, okay, mm-hmm. so for like, now you what? know, you don't want to buy a bottle, <laughs> well, he might like it, don't the make that order, might like it. it. but well, I got I, I got a decan of that first, and I did like it. Cause I get apple, I get the lavender, I get yeah. the pepper, I get the tonka bean. That's what I get out of that fragrance. I, I, I yeah. Hope but today, so simply today, I got the freaking baby wipes, and I was like, <laughs> "Damn you, Jared! I smell baby wipes today." <laughs> you know, but yeah, I mean, that's that's what I got initially when I smelled it. You know, and the lavender kicks on that. Now but that I agree, it's loud. Now that I think about it. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever smelled fucking fabulous by Tom Ford, but like that's uh, yes, I have that it, it, when I you think smell. about that pa- that baby wipe smell, that kind of has it too, I think. But it I could like just be how the lavender blends, better. you know. Sometimes the way things blend too, yeah, it's got lavender and tonka, give you that like, feel, you know what I mean. That that differences are weird, man. Yeah, yeah, but again, that's why decants are useful. Yep. You is. know what I mean? Um, they, they, they always help, they help you out. They pretty much That's... always end up as a purchase. Here's a, this is another purchase I made because of a decant. Nancy, go. Nancy from uh, the Cheapy Group sent me a decant. She was like, you know what, you got to try it. Mm-hmm. And then Mark very showed good, me very good. Seventeen bucks for hundred. Yeah, mil. no, it's cool. All I needed was like an uh, um, like a milliliter. No, now you, now you try now you want to try the whole house. I saw your post. I do, and it's so cheap. I'm but gonna you send know you what? some. I got some in your pack. I the uh, because Mark Thank sent me a you. bottle yes. of that uh, amber, which yes. is pretty good actually. I don't think it's bad. And Thank yeah, you. yes, they have they have dupes of a lot of Dior like private line mm-hmm. stuff or private blend stuff, whatever it is. Like there's one of yes, Eagle that's East too, true. Right? They, uh, what's the one that smells like platinum Eagle East? Um, oh, that's the Ode to Passion. Oh, one of the Ode to oh, Passion. Yeah, the Passion. Yeah. yeah. Well, the. The reason I, why was I going to bring this? Oh yeah, the reason I'm bringing this up is because you know, like I've always been weird with grows and oud, and I would like look at the f- smells like, and I see like fragrances I don't, you know, like the oud is bon, which I'm like, oh, yeah. oh, I don't know if I like, yeah. you know, like all this stuff, and I'm like, I don't know. Mm-hmm. So forget the smells like, forget the notes, just smell the fragrance. Smell stuff. Try it, yeah. you can't smell it first. Absolutely, man, and 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 you you gotta trust your nose, and eventually mm-hmm. when you smell more stuff, you will trust your nose. But you know, um, I was I was it was funny because I I I met up with this guy that bought a bunch of decants off me off Reddit, so I met him and he we were just chatting, and he was like. He was like, yeah, man, this is this is so cool that you do this. You know, I you know I buy I spend so much on fragrances and this and that, you know, and it, and it's just a it's just a thing of. The more stuff you try again, you know, but he was like, man, I, I got so many bottles and it adds up. I spent 160 on this and I spent 100 on that. And, yeah. you know, it, if I did the math, all the stuff that I ordered from you, I would have spent like over a thousand dollars on bottles. And it was like, yeah, I mean, and, it, and it's that easy, dude. Like, you know, I bought I bought those three bottles at Macy's and I dropped three hundred dollars. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's easy to do now. Again, I, I'll decant it and you know you know make some money but it, it, it's still that initial cost man so you know if you could decant and get it you know that's a good thing now one of the things i remember tony mentioning and i don't know if you guys had experience with this and this is one thing that i think that people get nervous about is 
getting ripped off when they buy decants, mm. right? So I don't know what what's your advice. I guess it would be what find the trusted seller. Click you know, on what? somebody's name if you if you're buying from if you're buying anything from anybody. Click on their name mm. and look at their previous posts. If they because right. what because what you do to get rep usually is you leave your sale post up but put sold. Right, I and see then that. People, yeah, that's what that's what I always do. Just and then people go look at your history, and be like, oh, they sold stuff. Mm-hmm. And you got mm-hmm. multiple sales, so you yeah. know so, certain people just pop up on decanting. Anybody can be a decanter. Yeah, you yeah. gotta you gotta use your intuition. Unfortunately, there's no way to stop things like scams. You know, yeah. like it happened. Yeah. So you just and gotta think, keep your guard up. I think there's probably a lot of options for people who are uh, decanting stuff and don't realize that they have fake stuff. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. That's they true might too. be passing it off unintentionally. Yeah, they exactly. Think what, they think it's the real stuff that they got. Yeah. yeah, because people do sell empty bottles. Yes, and it's easy enough to fill up a bottle of Aventus with Club Denui sure. and say it's Aventus, and people will believe it. Mm-hmm. Well, he Tell said me he told me it was. He, no, I did. listen. You know, we live in a time where trust is is it's hard to come by you know you got to really be careful who you put your trust in you know but you know with me i look i you know people i'm not here to rip anybody off because i'm part of this i i'm a f- person in the fragrance and mm-hmm. i've always said you know my thing with this was never to really make millions of dollars it was more so my way of giving back and learning and growing my collection but some people that you know they don't they don't have that mentality you know they kind of just looking to make a quick buck tell you something is what it isn't and you know just take your money and run you know and you know i see what? it in the groups too you know i was gonna say you know that's a fantastic point and that's like i think what our group is more about i know we don't yes we get a little po- you know we You know, with, when sales get involved, you know, things can go wrong. You know, mm-hmm. we, we want to base, we, our group is based on trust and mm-hmm. we just swap and we're tr- we try to make like a nice space for people. And, you know, sure. it's with swapping, it's like, are you going to scam somebody to swap with a swap? swap? Like, well, yeah. well, you know, what do you lose? You know, but if you're, mm-hmm. if you're buying like a couple Tom Ford decants for like 150, 100 200 bucks, bucks yeah, yeah. you could lose the money and then the member of your group comes to you. And then, you know, there's certain other issues that come there's with sales. There's a lot sales. of drama. Yeah, there's absolutely. drama. There's a lot of issues. So, you know, it's it's tough. You got to mm-hmm. find a good decanter. And there are many ones out there that, yes. you know, you, you there's can, a lot of there's good a guys, bunch of guys out there on marketplace you know mm-hmm. you know you could find them they're they're everywhere yeah but i, yeah. I, I bought from a couple of those guys and yeah cool. i have too you know uh especially early on you know um and now that i decan like i still reach out to some like jason i bought some stuff oh some yeah jason stuff, jason some of the yeah. stuff i sent mark was from jason mm-hmm. um you know but I, I i mean at this point for me like I have so many bottles and I have so many samples and it's to a point now where people for decants, they trade me bottles. So they'll be like, Hey, I have a bottle of this. Can you send me, you know, this much money in decants? And then I'm starting to get bottles that way too. That's, so, you know, yeah. that's I've, good. I've done the opposite. I've swapped a bunch of, you know, just bottles for like 10 ml decants. Yeah. Was, you know, I was like, you know, this just, you know, low level designer, this and that for, you know, mm-hmm. just 10 mLs of nicer fragrances. So exactly. it's like, you know, I traded exactly. 80 mLs of this one for 10 mLs of this, which is great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Decans are cool, it's man. Courtesy. It's like currency. You know? I think Bartering. some people, you know, like here's, here's, here's something. Here's another question I think um, comes up a lot. Do you feel, do you feel like you own the fragrance if you just have a decant of it? Some people feel like they don't own it if they don't have a bottle. Yeah, I mean, I could, I could see that mentality. What's your um, thoughts? Uh, you know, I, 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 honestly, for me, like, yeah, I think having the bottle in my mind means I have it, because a lot of times I don't remember what I have decants of, but I know what I got bottled. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean, I don't have that problem. <laughs> no, Actually, I kind of do. But you, you know, see. I just bring that up because it's like, you know, like I said, with the fun fair, you know, this doesn't, it's, 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 you, you can't really find it, mm-hmm. but I have some of it and mm-hmm. I cherish mm-hmm. it. You know, it's sure. like, it's cool. This is discontinued. It's cool. I feel like I own it. Yeah. Cause it's, I do a little bit of it. Yeah. You do. Even if it's you not legit, it. but yeah. I know a lot of people are like, uh, I, you know, decants are, st- a lot of people are not into decants. No. I didn't even know they existed until a couple of years ago. You know, mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. just would buy bottles blindly or from smelling them at, macy's or whatever yeah 
Well, he that's how cool. I started. You know, I, I was just buying bottles and bottles, and that's yeah. why I ended up starting a decamp because I saw people would would buy them. Um, and I even did like the research on the legality of it and stuff like that. And and I mean, there there is kind great. of a great, yeah, there is kind of it's a great, great. It's great. It's great. It's very great. But you know, the 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 bot the bottom line with it is. If you're if you're if you're rebottling it and you're saying like say it's bottling blue de Chanel and you're saying this is blue de Chanel, then that that falls in, yeah. into a legal space. Now if because you're rebottling the it, do that. Yeah, but if you're rebottling it and you say this is blue de chef mo, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that that's where now now you're in the space where you know what I mean, but oh. that's so that's, is that tech the sort technically the blends illegal? <laughs> yeah. The silver oud is that <laughs> right? like yeah. the silver oud you're saying that? Yeah, I love much. chef yeah. cans, but yeah, the yeah, list yeah. is hard to decipher because they're all <laughs> plays on Chef Mo's name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> blue to Chef Mo. That's good, dude. Yeah, blue, yeah but but that's yeah, that's the yeah. truth. You yeah, have yeah, to, yeah, you have to write the proper name. You know, I have, you know, I have the disclaimer on my site and my list. Because you says, bought that bottle. Yeah. That's yours. Purchase yeah. You own yeah. it. Absolutely. Even if you traded for it, you got Doesn't it. doesn't matter. You, you could do whatever you want with and it. And you have the legit bottle. Absolutely. Nordstrom, Macy's, Sephora, you still, they'll, put, yeah. they'll spray some shit in a bottle, a little spray for you. Yeah, they will. Yeah. So yeah, it's like, you yeah. know, it's, it's, it's the, the best idea. way. The blind buying is okay sometimes if you go to burlington sometimes if you see a banana sure. republic icon get it if you see yeah. a zaro borom low get yeah. it if you yeah, don't like it send it to joy. me yeah <laughs> fantastic it's not you yeah. know yeah. but it, blind buying has its own excitement but like sure. eventually as you get into the hobby you're like god damn it i keep getting all these bottles i hate is there mm-hmm. anything else i can do and spend less money yeah. You could you could decant, you know, but you Decants. eventually learn your taste, right? So you kind of yeah, learn exactly. what you like, and that's where learning the notes and types of fragrances and citrus aromatic and aromatic and fougere. And then you seek out those decants. You kind of yeah. go to Chef Mo. You, you say I like. Yeah. You go to Chef Mo. You say I like these. I like these fragrances and notes. What should sense. I try? And then Chef Mo gives you I a pack you. of fragrances that you that's, like. That's I bought. The, so, he's the bane of my existence because i've bought so many bottles because of him yeah i know mark how many bottles have you bought because of mo yeah, probably 75 percent of my collection not gonna... <laughs> <laughs> we're not going there <laughs> yeah i know mark's bought a lot especially in the beginning because i used to send mark like those big like 15 fragrance packs and yes he, and he Woo. would be like you but you know what it does too is like so if you smell something from one house that you like then you start Re, like just look just what happened to you now with the frank olivier right you smell one that you oh like oh my god I and know, now yeah. you're like hey guys what's frank olivier let me know all the frank olivier joints yep. you know that's saying? how i get and that's what happens you know it that's what happens to a lot too. of people it gets deep because then you're like whoa this one came out this one's hard to find <laughs> you're uh, just like you, you know, get obsessed with it yeah you but but also you you know you 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 learn and you dig and you research and you and you mm-hmm. find. Stuff. I love it. It's so yeah. much fun. That's yeah. a question that Scott always asks in his interviews. It was like, "Is are YouTubers relevant?" And I'm, I know I'm taking this off in a new direction here, but mm, like, no, yeah, I like that question. You YouTuber, uh, like anybody who wants to start up a channel, here's my advice: like, do it, okay, but then. Yes. Don't tell us your opinion about YEVP. Like, <laughs> we, you know, we know it. Yeah. Find, or Aventus or Club de Nuit. Where you can do something new for the community. No one's yes. done the Frank Olivier Sun Java line. None of us have any clue, yep. except for when we ask Corvin if he knows what's up. <laughs> Corvin knows them all. Corvin knows a deal. Yep. And you know, and then exactly. so, so that's what I try and do that stuff on YouTube for the com because someone's gonna be like man should i get this frank olivier bamboo and mm-hmm. then they're gonna search it in youtube and if nothing comes up they're gonna be like well i guess i'll go back to fragrantica that's you know? what I'm, that's what i and try and do with it, mine yeah. you yeah. know like yeah. I, we talk about all these crazy fragrances we always find out all this cool yeah. shit and it's yeah. just like that's what i do on my channel like i don't know how many subscribers i have it's not a lot but i started just doing it i used to not even stand in front of the camera i know you did if you're a true fan you'd know that i know that yeah you should drop the <laughs> now, decants all over the place 
now mm-hmm. it's like why not you know but but it's like you said too mark like with 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 those um you know more harder to find or obscure unknown fragrances like m- most decanters aren't decanting those right Right. So uh-huh. even even if even if guys on YouTube ain't talking about it, and ain't a lot of people you can hit up and say, unless it's somebody's personal thing, like in our group where you can get a swap for, and that's mm. one of the things like I was talking with you guys about today is is you know my goal partly too is to try to carry some of that stuff, so, and if, yes. even if people really don't, or maybe a few people hit me up or whatever, it's like yo, this is a way to try these lesser known or, or or random stuff that you might come across and be like oh well shoot i could at least try this now you know yeah. what i mean as opposed to just blind buy even if you know people will say well why would you decant a 20 dollar fragrance for mad cheap i might save somebody 20 bucks right you know like f black exactly you'll right. try it and you'll be like this sucks <laughs> i hate it it sounds like spicy baby wipes and i'll buy something else you know and they'll but come like, back to you and spend the money they saved hopefully I, you know what there's there's the hermes h24 most i mean a decan out of that and i was like this is disgusting I don't like and, I don't and like it's that like either. you it's that saves you like 120 hermes is not cheap so you save no, 120 no, even at discounters that was, I was like, like 80 oh. bucks my God, it's a, no yeah, offense, I like, ladies, no, but like that was like huge. It. it was a big fragrance hyped up by the YouTubers. Yep. So you're like, damn it, I need it. Yep, yep. Well, and, they, and it goes yeah. to Mark's point too about um, you know, YouTubers are they relevant and is it, you know, is I it hope so. be, be different? No, I I think I think they are. I mean, especially for me in the beginning, like of of, of acquiring stuff. Like I did watch a lot of guys, and I still watch a lot of. You know, I watch your stuff. I watch. I still watch. Well, Ross, I watch. You guys um, are now part of the channel too. I yeah, mean, you've also I mean, become but part I watch of it. Scott. You know, I, I, there's a couple guys I watch. Russell Mack. There's a lot of guys whose content I watch. You know, but it's more so because a lot of them I like as people, and I want to see how they react or how they feel about something. Because most of the stuff, like I've probably smelled before, or you know, I have it or whatever, but. You know, it, I I think for for people like coming into this, I think it it just it is a matter of finding somebody that you relate to, kind of sort of, mm-hmm. and then just and then just rocking with that person and just you develop like that trust of you know, okay, this guy knows what he's talking about, or hey, I tried a few that he he recommended it or she and and I like them, so then that's what keeps keeps it kind of rolling. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and the more people like, that are out there doing it is better, you know. Yeah. They're like fragrance archetypes, right? I mean, mm-hmm. you could yeah. compare and contrast me and Jarrett in terms of our what we like and sure. and say, yeah, like I don't like a lot. I, I don't get as excited about a lot of things that Jarrett's gonna get excited about. Neither do I. So recently I'm excited about that. He was yes, not even are. willing to try some of the things that he's getting into now. That's true. Yeah. And yeah. you know. So now he likes them, you know. It's true. I and, I know who to seek out for when I need to smell the latest oud. You know, I know who's gonna be going on with that. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah, yeah. I'm but getting no, it's true. I'm getting back in to go. So okay, <laughs> fortunately, now nah, we're good. So look, we'll we'll rock with this, Jared. Do do yeah. Do no, I didn't realize it was eight o'clock already. Ah, we were we were talking for a minute, man. We got a lot of we got a this lot of gonna, stuff in there. This will yeah, probably no. be like a three parter. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. Break it yeah. Down. I don't even know how long this was. I think an hour. All right. Yeah. Let me stop. Yeah, here. feel free.